Hi, this is Tony from Cooking Around. Today we're going to make crepes. Um, it's a very easy thing to do. Some people are afraid of making them. I don't know why, but I'll show you step by step how to make them. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to take this contraption and we have to screen the flour. Um, you can use a regular strainer if you want with a fine grit for the flour or if worse comes to worse if you don't have anything just use a fork okay so here we go now we're going to put in a total of one cup of flour all-purpose flour you can use part whole wheat if you want to at this point and we're using here one quarter cup of icing sugar you can use the regular sugar but i like the fine sugar more and now we just basically shift it and this gives us a more smooth blend to make our crepe. Now what we do is we add one cup of milk to our blend and we also add two eggs slightly beaten. And we add one quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Here in Poland, we have little tiny bottles like this. Isn't that really, really cute? Little tiny bottles like that. So we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and three tablespoons of melted butter. Get your little handy whisk here and start to mix it all up make sure that you what i like to do is spin the bowl and scrape down close to the bottom now when you put the butter in you have to be fast here once the butter goes in because the butter is melted as soon as it hits the milk or the flour it tends to want to um become a solid again very very fast so you need to hit it now at this point I want you to really mix it really really good because we don't want any lumps in our crepes so there we go and you can see it's very liquidy it's very good if you wanted a little bit more liquidy just add a little bit more milk okay I have the Teflon skillet here uh, this one I, is a flat bedded one which I use for the crepes. Uh, please, to make your life easier, use Teflon. You can use the other one, but it's a little bit more complicated. Now, what I do is I have a little bowl here and I put some oil in there and I'm using this. Now, you can use the spray can if you want, the type that you spray, if you want to use that one. Um, I don't like using the spray can. I like using natural butter or oil. Now, they say it is natural with the spray cans, but well, I just don't like it. Now, the way to test this now, to see if it's hot, just take a little dab here and just drop a little dab on there. And see the way it's sizzling? We know that the temperature is correct. See? And if you can see, I can move it all around and it doesn't stick. So we'll take that one over there. Okay, so now, we take the oil here, which I have in the plate, and you spread it around. This brush is a high temperature brush, so it will not burn. And you make sure that it's evenly coated. You take your batter with your ladle, and with this measurement, it will be basically almost one and a half full. And you just drop it in the middle and just bring it around. Take a little bit more and bring it around, all the way around. Don't worry about it not looking so good. And now pick up and just move around. Don't worry about it. If it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly round because when you roll it, you're not gonna see it anyways. And now we just wait until the top side starts becoming a little bit dry and then we're going to flip it. Now, if you're saying, well, I don't like this edge here because, you know, my mother never taught me that way. So very simple, just Take your tool and just go there and just, if it makes you happy, just go here and just cut it off. There you go. That edge is gone. So it's really, really 
quite simple. Now you can see the top is now starting to become a little bit more dry. Just give it another few seconds. And then when we're done, we put this on the plate on top of each other and they and they will not stick and will be perfect. So if you're not sure where to flip it over, cheat a little bit, just lift up the top like this. There you go. Just grab like that and just flip. And there is your crepe. Now this side just requires a few seconds, not too long, because three quarters of the way has been cooked on the other side. And we just wait a few minutes. Do not press down. You can take this and you can shake it a little bit if you want, but do not take this and flip it up in the air and try to turn the crepe upside down to the other side. I wouldn't advise that. If they do that on TV, that's fine, but I don't do that and I don't know how to do that. So here we go, now you can see that it's done fine. And I'll show you the other side. The other side is done perfect too. If you want a little bit more done, leave it a little bit longer. So this crep is done. And here are our crepes. Um, the measurements that I gave you will make six crepes. And you can see that I put them all on top of the plate and none of it sticks together. They're nicely spotted golden brown. And if you check my other video, I will show you the fillings that can go into these crepes. There's so many different kinds that I'm not going to include that in this video. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.